day. We had hail, we had thunderstorms, and it's going to be a wet day tomorrow, too. Yeah, it's going to be pretty much a replica of what we saw for today. Okay. So there will be some areas tomorrow that might see some hail, some strong wind, and some lightning, and I'll break that down here for you in just one second. Let's just start off with the satellite and radar. This is looping over the last three to four hours, and that big plume of moisture moved on through. That's where we had some of those heavier rain showers, some downpours, and then even a couple of thunderstorms. We had the hail in Vancouver, a lot of reports of that. Thunder, which I haven't heard in quite some time, and this is all now pressing off to the northeast. Not going to rule out a stray thunderstorm along the coast as we go through the next couple of hours, but I think most of us through the valley should stay away from the thunderstorms, but still uh, some passing showers. So here's what we have going on now. We have up towards Vancouver, down to Portland, staying mostly dry. Still some showers coming along the coast range, and those are pushing to the east, so still going to leave a little bit of rain in the forecast as we go into the overnight. Here's a pretty decent thunderstorm. Storm. There was some lightning that was popping up about five minutes ago. This is pushing to the northeast Rockaway Beach. Areas of Cannon Beach might be seeing this here in the next uh, five minutes or so. Here's a shot from earlier. This was actually a double rainbow. You can see the top kind of uh, showing, and that's when the sunlight's coming through the droplets of rain that we have going on. And that's what we kind of see sometimes when we get these sun breaks. This is once again in Beaverton sent in from Lisa. What a wonderful shot. If, hey, if you want to send in some photos, you can go ahead and do it through our report it feature on our website at coin.com where you can find us on social media and it's passed along that way. We really like that. Uh, overnight tonight, temperatures falling down to about the mid 40s to the upper 40s. A forecast low of right around 47 degrees. A passing shower and it's going to be mostly cloudy. We'll keep that in the forecast through the overnight. So waking up tomorrow morning, something you might have to deal with is the rain and then again, some stray thunderstorms by the afternoon. So waking up, be prepared for a little bit of rain. If your you know, routine kind of gets you outdoors early, maybe grab the jacket for that. 48 degrees, warming up to about 50, lower 50s tomorrow afternoon and a stray thunderstorm again is possible through the valley. So that means we're talking another shot for some hail, a little bit of thunder and some stronger downpours for the afternoon. Here's the big picture. We have this low pressure. We have this cooler air in the jet that's kind of pushing on through and that's just going to translate to some more wet weather for our Monday. Again, just the passing showers for the morning into the afternoon An isolated thunderstorm or thunder shower can't be ruled out. And then again, we can just factor in some hail and some thunder for the afternoon. So I'm going to show you that as our future cast kind of goes through the area. This is our rain, snow, and ice forecast. You can notice this at 1130. We'll keep the rain in here. It's going to be very scattered into tomorrow morning. So grab all the rain gear when you're heading out the door tomorrow. If you have a, a bike ride to work, be prepared for that. Uh, snow is possible for the afternoon and evening, about two to six inches up there on Mount Hood. So more snow for the ski resorts. That's going to be nice. It's going to be pretty scattered in nature with rain all the way into Tuesday morning through Tuesday afternoon before things finally start to dry on out as we get into Wednesday morning and maybe another shot for some rain late Wednesday night, but it looks like that's going to be our best time for some dry time. All right, so along the coast tomorrow, lower 50s, showers, a rumble, thunder is definitely possible. We'll keep that along the F5 corridor. Temperatures stopping off in the lower 50s, a southwest breeze 5 to 10 miles per hour. So isolated showers off to the central east forecast in the upper 50s through the gorge about the same, and then the rain turning over to snow about 4,000 feet there in the Cascades. Your seven-day forecast looks like this. Tuesday, 52. Wednesday 55, that's when we'll have some dry time. Thursday at 51, 53 on Friday. And Chris, right now, our weekend, if our models, our weather models, the guidance kind of sticks where it's at, it looks like we have a nice spring weekend ahead of us uh, a week from now. But yeah, until sunny then, and dry, dry time. Yeah, that's going to be nice. I like what I see. Yeah, not bad. Cool. All right, thanks, Joseph. Well, Stan Brock is here.